Hello, my beautiful Cancerians. I hope you all are doing amazing. Today, I'm going to be tapping into the energies of those of you that are currently not in communication with your person. So as per usual, I will be starting off with an oracle and we can just clarify the existing energies with tarot. Okay, um, for my Cancerians in separation, please. So the first card we have for you guys is mask, not showing true feelings, um, hiding, uh, pretending, gaslighting. Okay, so someone definitely has more emotions for you than they let on. So someone could be trying to remain very composed, uh, you know, very poker face, if you will, when it comes to this connection. But behind that mask, there are a lot of uh, emotions here that they are not bringing to the forefront, okay? So someone who is having difficulty accepting their emotions and that could be the reason why they're wearing some sort of mask here or maybe coming off as they don't care about the situation but really they do uh mirror so mirroring each other self-image relationships reflect our wounds introspection okay so Cancer, what I see here so far, obviously, you know, there is someone who is not, you know, telling you how they feel. So this person that you're inquiring about here, there could even be a bit of a mirroring energy going on, okay? So I'm sensing a power battle here where maybe you feel like it's not your job to reach out, Cancer, and this person feels like it's not their job to reach out. But what I essentially see is both of you are thinking about the situation. It's just you may feel like you are not wanting to be vulnerable with this person or they don't don't deserve your emotions or your emotional outpour at this time okay um so we have camera on the bottom of the deck which talks about reminiscing uh perception learn from the past make memories okay so definitely you know a nostalgic kind of energy going on here um and we have the king of swords on the bottom of the deck okay split the deck we have the queen of swords wow so confirmation for you guys mirroring each other take a look at that cancer so you guys are definitely thinking about each other but it's like you know what i'm not gonna i'm not gonna tell them i'm thinking about them and then they're like you know what i'm not gonna tell cancer i'm thinking about cancer you know what i mean and there's this energy of both of you wanting clarity and truth in this situation but you know either of you want to be the first one to reach out here is what i see and that's why i was picking up on a power battle essentially could be an air sign that you're involved with cancer okay uh gemini aquarius libra okay so we have the two of pentacles as well as the fool card here which lets me know that your person is going back and forth in their mind about should i reach out or should i not should i take that leap of faith or should i not you know, it's like some days they feel like they just want to, you know, let go of all these, um, you know, limiting beliefs and just reach out to you. And other days they're very focused on not being impulsive, you know, remaining in control, uh, you know, not wanting to jump ahead too uh, quickly here without knowing what the future holds. So this person is definitely fighting some sort of impulsive urge to reach out to you. Um, and with the two of pentacles, that's an energy of, do I say this? Do I say that? Do I do this? Do I do that? So for many of you in this connection here, Cancer, you could have been the communicator because this person's having a difficult time figuring out the right words to say or the right message to send you or, uh, you know, what would sound good at this time, that sort of thing. So I feel like maybe some of you feel that you have been taking the lead when it comes to this connection here. Yeah, Page of Pentacles. This person definitely wants to reach out. This could be an earth sign that is younger than you. If it's not about age, then it speaks about, you know, maturity levels here. Okay, let's see. The Hanged Man, yeah. There's a lot of thinking going on, just a lack of doing. You know, the Hanged Man talks about having a new perspective here. Some of you may be involved with the Pisces, but it talks about also being in a very complacent energy. Bottom of the deck here, guys, we have the Moon, which is, you know, uh, double Piscean energy here, but it also speaks about hidden emotions. 
So how I see the moon card is pretty much uh, what I'm seeing with the first card that came out for you guys, the mask card, right? So someone who is feeling a lot of emotions, constantly thinking about you, but they are facing obstacles when it comes to revealing their emotions, okay? So this could be something that was deeply embedded in this person as a child, or it's they're having they're feeling some sort of discomfort when it comes to being honest about their emotions because of the potency of this connection or the depths of their emotions so this could be an individual who was okay with you know having emotions for you or liking you but once they started to fall in love with you maybe they started to pull their energy back especially if something about it felt very uncomfortable or something about it felt very brand new here okay for some of you this was um, an energy of self-sabotage so, so someone being in their own way here Okay. The strength card, okay? So some of you may be involved with the Leo, but again, another card of holding back. Nine of Pentacles, how they view you. Interesting. So they do view you to be enjoying your singlehood, okay? Some of them feel like you're very focused on yourself and people are kind of just a bonus in your life at this time. Um, and they do view that as very attractive. But behind that, with the Lover's Eight of Cups, they may have a lot of regret for not making a decision sooner in order to commit to you because they feel like you chose to walk away and kind of just be single or like, you know, uh, focus on yourself and maybe even openly date others or, you know, whatever it is that you chose, you chose a path on your own because it's almost like you felt you were waiting around for a long time for this person to come to some sort of decision with that lover's upright. Eight of Cups also speaks about walking away because there's like a key component there that's missing. So maybe you feel like you did have emotions for this person, you know, you did love this person, but with that Eight of Cups, maybe it was a lack of expression that kind of turned you off from the situation. And there was something here that was a deal breaker. For others of you, it could be a difference. It could be the fact that there was distance here. Whatever it was, it was a very important key, key component of this bond that was missing, which again, in return, caused you to walk away. the tower yeah so things came crashing down very quickly here or someone's true colors were revealed at a very uh, uh fast pace here okay this could be a scorpio that you're involved with but it seems that your person's viewing you as someone who has handled the situation much better than they have okay so when things came to an end or when the separation occurred they do feel like it was very unexpected very abrupt they they did not see it coming at all right um and again like they may feel like they're still thinking about that ending and wow things happen so quickly there's so many things that they're realizing now that they wish that they realized then okay um what's the two of pentacles Four of Wands. So pretty much what this person's going back and forth in their mind about right now, Cancer, is, you know, what do I do in order to get back with Cancer here? And, you know, is a reconciliation possible or is it, you know, is this connection something that is beyond repair? This is what this person's thinking about. They're trying to have more of a practical mindset about it. And it doesn't say that they're not desiring you or they're not feeling their emotions. But again, it goes hand in hand with that mask card. They're trying to be more practical about it. That's why they're not really operating from an emotional state. They're more so thinking about what do I do here? Like if I want to reconcile, what's the right thing to do? Or do I feel like things are beyond repair and I should just leave it alone? Am I being impulsive or am I making the right decision? These are the thoughts that are going through your person's mind at this time. Okay, we have the sun, so double Leo energy, split the deck, Hierophant. So some of you may be involved with a Leo, like I mentioned, or a Taurus. Um, what's the Fool card? <clears throat> Two of Cups, you know, the emotions between the both of you are mutual. We do have the second card there that speaks about mirroring. So as much as there's a lot of emotions here, there's a lot of I care about you, I think about you, with that Five of Swords on the bottom of the deck, there's also a lot of mental conflict when it comes to what do I do next, right? There's something very different about this connection that only the both of you understand. And what I'm being drawn to is a lion there as well as a lion in the strength card, which means the emotions are so potent, but there's this energy of wanting to be in control more than wanting to express emotions between the both of you. So pretty much what I was saying as I opened your read, um, a sense of a power battle going on here, right? I, you know, I think about you, I love you, but I'm not going to reach out if you don't, <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. So there is a tad bit of a stubborn energy here. What's the hanged man? The wheel of fortune 
right? And so there is this energy of your person trying to follow their internal compass, but there's also something that is uh, bothering them or something that they're holding on to that no longer serves them. Okay, so this could be a person, a place, a thing, an energy, but there's something they're trying to detach from, okay? And so because they're still actively trying to detach from it, it could be causing some sort of complacent energy because the Wheel of Fortune there is clarifying the uh, hanged man. So this person definitely wants a turn of events, but with that Nine of Wands on the bottom of the deck, you know, not to sound too repetitive here, Cancer, but there's more of a guarded energy than anything. Some of you may have this person blocked also, um, especially if, you know, you're not wanting to speak to them. Uh, what's the Wheel of Fortune? The Hermit. Yeah. This is someone who is wanting to spend some sort of time alone, possibly even thinking about what they were dishonest about. It's almost like when they think about coming forward or clearing things up with you, they feel like there's a lot that they need to reveal or a lot that they need to prove to you. Okay? And this is what is causing the indecision, right? It's almost like, you know, because he's holding five swords and there's two left behind. Two of swords is like um, refusing to see the reality of a situation, you know, in between worlds. And the five of swords, we did see it earlier as well, but that speaks more so about um, conflict, right? That speaks more so about an inner conflict. Behind that, we have the king of cups and the queen of cups, eight of wands, right? Wanting to communicate to you. We did see the queen of swords and the king of swords, which is the energy that you guys are portraying to each other. But behind that, you have the queen of cups and the king of cups, which means two of cups, right? Like you guys love each other. It's just this energy of, okay, I'm going to remain composed. I'm going to remain cold. You know, I'm not going to show, you know, cancer how I feel. And maybe cancer, this is how you feel as well, because there is a mirroring energy going on. But behind it, it's that king of cups, queen of cups. You guys wish that you could just, you know, fall into each other's arms or have some sort of heart to heart conversation here. But you're trying your best to remain, again, in control here. Seven of swords, you know, wanting to admit to some sort of dishonesty here, wanting to come clean about a situation, but not necessarily knowing how to go about it. What's the strength card? Some of you may be involved with the Virgo with the hermit. ace of swords someone here is holding back from revealing a truth it's pretty clear you know this is there there's a truth at hand here which is going to vary for many of you it is a general read but someone is holding back from speaking some sort of truth they're thinking about it two of pentacles that's the main thing that they're thinking about they're like how do i go about this but they're having a hard time revealing that someone here may even feel like they need to sacrifice something in order to reveal the truth to you cancer because one side of the Ace of Swords uh, talks about sacrifice. The other side is more so like a peace offering. So for some of you, it is th this person feels like they need to sacrifice something. They need to let go of something. Or, you know, it could even just be someone who feels like they need to be upfront with you, but they're having a hard time doing that. You know, Seven of Swords and the Ace of Swords, uh, which would be the um, Eight of Swords, which is someone who's mentally stuck on, what do I say? You know, I want to be clear. I want to be truthful. But how do I go about it? Um, what's the Ace of Swords? Three of Pentacles. They feel like if they were to bring forward the, forward this truth, it would be easier for you guys to work on things together. For some of you, this truth is pertaining to why you guys were not able to come to a mutual understanding in the past. So there could have been something that you were constantly inquir uh, you know, inquiring to this person and they were not really answering your question, but they now see that it is affecting or it has affected the ability for you guys to be together. <coughs> What's the tower? Some of you may have met this person at work. The star, okay, wanting to heal this connection, viewing you as a very rare individual here, three of cups. I feel like if this person were to communicate with you, it would come off lighthearted. It would come off as someone who wants to take you out, uh, you know, uh, nine of pentacles again on the bottom of the deck here, but it would come off as someone who wants to take you out, someone who wants to, you know, uh, show you a good time here, but the motive behind that is to heal the connection. So here's what I see in your person's perspective, Cancer. It's someone, first of all, with the tower, they feel like things happened way too quickly between the both of you. So they're still kind of dealing with the aftermath of this separation. With the star, what they're what they really want to do right now is just heal the dynamic. So at the most basic level, like can we just talk right now? Can we just can we just speak? You know, that's the first step here. Like I see it as like someone who is thinking about other things and in terms of two of cups, four of wands could be higher level of commitment, but they know that right now the first thing is can we just be okay and speak to each other? You know, if we don't, you know, if we're not okay with speaking to each other, there's no point in thinking about commitment or anything else. So there is this energy of your person taking one step at a time here. Okay, guys. So I'm going to switch over to the message deck here. 
Um, so let's see if your person has anything they want to tell you. So it says, don't treat me the way you do. I don't deserve it. Right? So maybe you're matching this person's energy. We did pick up on that. Maybe this person's not used to you, you know, being held back or being silent with them. It really hurts this person when you don't speak to them. Like when you're silent with them. So we do have drugs and alcohol here, guys. So, you know, this person could be, that could be their coping mechanism. Okay, maybe for some of you, that's exactly what was in the way of you guys coming together. Some sort of addiction that was at hand or, again, some sort of poor coping mechanism. Some sort of self-sabotaging mentality for sure. Bottom of the deck here, will you leave me like the others? This, there's something about this person feeling like you're too good to be true or, you know, cancer's just going to end up leaving me like the others. Something about their past, okay, that they're projecting onto the current bond here. Why do I feel this way? So someone who's trying to be, um, you know, kind of like, um, it, it's almost like they're they're trying their best to figure out, they're, they're trying to understand their emotions, okay? So this is someone who's trying to operate from a logical state, but they don't, they're not at the point of understanding, okay, maybe if I just feel the depths of the emotions, it just means I do. There's no explanation, right? This is someone who's almost like, well, why do I feel this way about cancer? Why am I in love with cancer? You know, so it's like this energy of like rationalizing almost, but um, yeah, I do feel like the emotions here are very deep and it's something that's very new to this person. Yeah, exactly. Bottom of the deck. You are so different from everyone around me. There's something very different about this connection too. You know, for some of you, the blockage could be this person's um, mindset on, you know, whether, what would people say? Right? What would people say if I were to be with cancer or there, you know, it, it's like, like this person, they feel like they've never met anyone like you. Your lifestyle could be very different as well. Your belief systems could be different. There could be opposing mentalities here. Anything else this person wants to tell Cancer? I don't know who I am anymore. They feel like they've lost their self throughout this connection. Um, you know, with that seven of swords, they may feel like they were dishonest with you and they, you know, they, they kind of view you as someone who's portraying them to be manipulative or a liar. And now they're at the point of how do I reverse this? I don't want to be who I used to be. You deserve better. Someone who's making the internal changes so that they can be better for you. I am better with my mind than my heart. Exactly what I said. That's why this person is constantly trying to make sense of their emotions instead of just accepting their emotions. And this could really stand out about you to this person, you know, with the water energy, two of cups, they may feel like you're really good at expressing your emotions. You're, you know, you're someone who's very open and emotionally expressive where areas they might be, whereas they might be the opposite here, right? Uh, having difficulties, you know, exp expressing your emotions. I am blocked. Okay, so for some of you, you definitely have this person blocked. Um, so it could be that they want you to um, unblock them. Again, guys, there is some sort of insecurity on your person's end. Why do I deserve someone like you? Something about you seems so unreal, bizarre, perfect, otherworldly to this person. And they're having a hard time believing that they're deserving of someone like you. Okay. So my wonderful Cancerians, that is what I'm getting for you this week. I really do hope you were able to find a message that resonated with you here today. And uh, thank you so much for your time.